Alright, welcome back to another episode of my movie review series, and if you're here for the first time, welcome to an episode of my movie review series. This is an impromptu episode. Yeah, man, I told you I'd come back and do an impromptu episode, but yeah, here it is, here it is right here. Today, today... We celebrate our Independence Day. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Independence Day. 1996. 1996. Yeah. Hey, videotapes. Yeah, they were around at that time, man. Yeah, I'm showing my age again. Yep. Yeah, man, I tell you. You know, this movie. <laughs> This movie have a. Uh, this movie built careers, you know. Independence Day, it built careers. Yeah, Will Smith, Jeff Goldblum, Bill Pullman, Margaret Cullen, Randy Quaid, Robert Loga, the late Robert Loga, Logia. James Ripporn, Harvey Firestein, not to be confused with Harvey Weinstein, not that cat, not that asshole, Harvey Firestein, and a bunch of others, you know. I mean, yeah, this movie had a one huge cast. Yeah, this movie, yeah, it built careers. One in particular just happened to belong to the man himself, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air himself. Yeah, the Fresh Prince, period. Will Smith. You know? <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, this movie, yeah, this movie, yeah, this movie marked his film, his big time film debut, you know, I mean, yeah, he'd done movies before, you know, he, Six Degrees of Separation, Made in America, Bad Boys, you know, he'd done movies before, but not as big as this, okay, not as big as this, okay, this, not as big as Independence Day, I mean, after this, then, yeah, you saw Will Smith do Big movies, big, huge movies, the blockbusters that we all know and love, you know. I mean, hell, you he saved the world two years in a row, and this is the first week, first time. Yes, sir, you know. But yeah, you know, this movie, you know, uh, if you thought War of the Worlds was exciting, you know, you know. <laughs> This movie, it was the uh, the upgrade of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, July second, they arrive. July third, they attack. July fourth. Today, July 4th, the day we fight back. Yeah, baby. That's what it is. That's what it is. Independence Day. Yeah. This was a hell of a movie. I mean, you know, aliens from an unknown origin come to Earth. You know, only one objective exterminate all human life you know just one objective primary objective exterminate and maybe having a having a, an invasion since they were all lined up in that mothership at the end of the movie you know <laughs> they all lined up all waiting on standby Hundreds, maybe even thousands of them. Yeah, yeah, Jack. This movie, man, yeah. This was the huge 
countdown to destruction type of picture. I mean, you know, Jeff Goldblum, his character, you know, David Levinson, you know, this computer genius, you know, he, uh, you know, he figured out, he figured out the plan, you know. It's like a gym, it's like a, it's like a game of chess, which he is pretty good at, you know. He can beat his dad in the in the game, you know, chess in the park, you know. <laughs> he can beat his dad in the game, you know. Just think, three moves ahead. That's all you gotta do in chess. You know, three three moves ahead. And he figured out each move that the alien aliens was making all throughout this movie. You know, he was he was figuring out, and then he figured out how to beat them. You know, yeah. But first, you know, those aliens, you know, they they made their first move, and they made that big. Hello, attack, you know, destroying every single major city. You know, first, you know, first they arrive in that, in that huge spaceship, the mothership. They arrive in that, then, you know, they broke off into uh, other tiny ships and went down to Earth, you know, but they was going into a separate, they going into um, separate um, areas of the planet, which was every single major city that the planet had. You know, you know, one ship was hovering over New York, another ship was hovering over Los Angeles, another one hovering over Washington D.C. You know, and another thing about this movie, you know, this movie it, it hit you with a lot of uh, landmarks. You know, you know, you know. The, uh, the editing process of this movie, you know, you know, David Brenner worked as uh, the editor of this movie. You know, he would hit you with every single, you know, you know, the you know, the, uh, the Flash, um, the Flash, um, uh, a flashing shot of every single well-known landmark, you know, Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building, Washington, D.C., you know, the Capitol, White House, Washington Monument, you know, Washington, D.C., period, you know, any one of them, Hollywood sign, any, any, any and everything, you know, every single landmark that you know, he hit you with it. And yeah, every single one of those landmarks, all got destroyed by these damn aliens, you know. So yeah, that was their first move. That was their first move. Their first chess move, you know. Hit you with the hit you with the landmarks, you know. Take them down and everything, you know. They made they pretty much made the entire country a burned out wasteland. And yeah, I tell you, yeah, the, uh, the visual effects in this movie, the Oscar-winning visual effects in this movie, yeah, this, yeah, this movie is an Oscar winner, you know. Hey, <laughs> the Oscar-winning visual effects in this movie, though, you know, it was top-notch at the time. You know, you could not beat it; you couldn't even match it. You know, you know, it was just the next step in the evolutionary process of great special effects that you will see in other movies further down the line, you know. So yeah, this movie, yeah, it just, uh, it, it, it was big. It was, it, it was big, it was huge. It was a huge movie, you know. And the money shot of the entire film, you know, this right here, you know, yeah, they'll stick it right here on the uh, the tape case, you know, the DVD case, you know, they'll stick it right anywhere, you know, the uh, the White House getting destroyed, you know, by the um, by the uh, alien ship, which was pretty much a huge spoiler as far as the um. The official trailer is concerned, not the uh, the teaser trailer, but the official trailer is concerned. You know, it was pretty much a huge spoiler. I mean, you know, you, 
they really did not have to show it. I mean, I know, I know it was the, um, it was a great promotional plot point, standpoint. It, it was a great promotional shot for the movie. You know, you got to destroy something that is very, uh, something that is very, um, very noticeable, very iconic, you know, and of course, the House of Democracy itself, the White House, boom, send the alien ship over that, beam down, blast it to hell, that was the uh, promotional shot that they chose, I mean, you know, the real shot, you know, the, uh, the thumbnail that I have, you know, for this, that was the, uh, that was a much better shot, because, you know, you got the, the alien ship hovering over one mega city, you know, not, not mega city as in Judge Dredd, but, you know, one mega, you know, one huge populated city, you know, that was the real promotional shot that they should have, they should have used, which they did use in, you know, the uh, theatrical poster that they used, you know, but, you know, anyway, you know, I'm not 27 years Fox, so, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm no exec from them, so, you know, especially at that time, you know, hell, I was still in, what, sixth grade at that time, sixth, seventh grade, whatever, at that time. So yeah, long, long time ago, ancient years, yeah, ancient movie, I guess. You know? <laughs> yeah, I tell you though, yeah, this is this is just um one of the um yeah this, this was one of the one of the as a matter of fact this was the biggest movie that came out of 1996, you know. And how did they use what what did they use to beat the aliens? Well, let me uh, get to that. I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I'm not going to rush into this shit. But I'll get to it. But yeah, you know, yeah, July 2nd. You know, that was the day that they arrived, you know. Hit you with every single landmark. That was their first move in their, their game of chess. And then the second the second day of their, of their arrival, that's when they attacked. And July 3rd, you know. And July 3rd was a long day for them. It was, it was the longest. It was the longest day in this whole movie, you know. It really, you know, it really set the, uh, it really set the, uh, the, uh, the second act of the movie into a huge, huge tailspin. I mean, when uh, the Marines decided, you no. Know, we gotta go up there. We gotta take on these guys, you know. We gotta take on these. We gotta go up there and whoopie T's ass, you know. So yeah, <laughs> Will Smith's character, you know, Captain Stephen Hiller, a Marine pilot, you know. Yeah, he uh, he and he and his crew, the Black Knights, they went up. They took to the skies, and they took on the aliens. Unfortunately, the aliens, they were ready for them in every single step, every single meaning. They were, they were ready for them, you know. You know, every, every, every move, every maneuver, anyway, that the Marines did in those fighter jets, you know, those fucking aliens, man. They were ready. They knew every single one of their moves. And yeah, they capitalized so quick. And they took them out. Out of the sky. They were dropping like flies, Jack. Yeah. Even, uh, even when they try, even when uh, we try to get a shot off of them. You know. They had their shields up. You know. You know, we, we was gonna attack the uh, the ship that was hovering over. This shield was up. When they brought down their fighters, you know, their killer bees, knocked down our fighter jets. Yeah, we tried to uh, take them out. We couldn't, because they had shields too. So yeah, only uh, only Will's character though. 
He was the only one that can uh, that can um, outmaneuver him. Outmaneuver one of them. So yeah, you know that uh, that cool dog fight he had against those guys, or the, against that that alien in a way. That cool dog fight he had, you know. Yeah, chasing them through the um, the desert mountains, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come and get me. Come and get me. <laughs> yeah. Where are you shooting at? Where you at, baby? Come on. Come on. Oh, you can't hear nothing. <laughs> yeah, he's getting a warning on his dial that, uh, yeah, on his um, digital dial that uh, he's running low on fuel. Yes, yeah, so you know, you gotta find a way to uh, distract the son of a bitch. Yes, yeah, so you know, he was uh, yeah, he was just playing around with this guy, with this cat, with with, with this alien. You know, he was just playing around with him. Yeah, cause you know, <laughs> alien, yeah, alien, yeah, he, he, he's trying to shoot at him. Yeah, he's going one way, he's going another. He's trying to shoot at him. He's missing everywhere. Yeah, where, where are you shooting at? Where you at, baby? Come on. <laughs> You can't hit nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Low bridge. Ooh, yeah, he go under that. And, and yeah, he can go under it too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can fly. Great. So you can find that thing under the cover. Yeah. See, you can find that thing under cover. Yeah. Pulled out the uh the planes um the planes um the plane shoot. Yeah. Blank of the uh, aliens on um, aliens view. Yeah, so he get to eject. His plane crash. Yeah, the shoot get out the way. Yeah, alien. Yeah, you see. Yeah, alien. Yeah, he sees the uh the crash. Oh shit. Yeah, he tried to pull up. Yeah, he crashed right into it. Crashed right into the mountain, boy. Well, the thing was, you know, yeah, he pulled up, so he crashed right into the mountain, but, you know, he landed on the, uh, the surface. But that's okay, though. His ship is all banged up, so, you know, he ain't gonna be going anywhere anytime soon or later. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Will's character, Captain Stephen Hiller, you know. <laughs> yeah, he unhooks himself from uh, his parachute, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right. Get off, get off me. That's what you get. <laughs> Look at you, ship all banged up. Who's the man? Huh? Who's the man? <laughs> oh yeah, boy, climbing up on the uh, the alien attacker, climbing up on it. <laughs> Open the door. Yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, you know, he's ready to kick some ass now. <laughs> yeah, where'd you get another plane? <laughs> you know? Gliding up all his friends right beside him. Yeah, he's gonna whoop some ass. Yeah, so yeah, you know, yeah. Where you at, huh? Where you at? Yeah, open up that door. See what the hell is in there. Yeah, some bitch gonna try and climb out. Uh-uh. Mm. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, the wall one hit a quitter. Yeah, any black man hit you with a one hit a quitter, you best believe you ain't gonna be getting up anytime soon or later. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, he laid that bitch out for three hours too. <laughs> oh man, I tell you, yeah, that. Uh, such a great scene. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, this is Will Smith you're talking about. Yeah, you wouldn't expect him to do anything like this, right? I mean, yeah, this guy, you know, he's a rapper, but he don't rap about the streets. You know, he rap about having fun, you know? Yeah, he got a TV show, a successful TV show, you know? Then next thing you know, He's in a big movie like this, and he's playing a Marine, one of the toughest soldiers in all of the United States. Yeah. <laughs> Not only playing a Marine, but he's playing a Marine fighter pilot. 
So yeah, not only you gotta be tough on the ground as a marine, you gotta be tough in the skies when you're a pilot. That's exactly what he was, man. Out maneuvering that alien, you know. <laughs> you only one to do it to. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You're nothing tougher than the marines, you know. Semper Fi, do or die. Blood makes the grass grow. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, I tell you though, yeah, this movie though, yeah, you know, a lot of things happened on the July third, you know, yeah, they attacked, but then yeah, July, July fourth, the day we fight back, yeah, so you know, Go Boom's character, you know, he, um, you know, David Levings, you know, he, um. He figured out a way to uh, to beat these guys, to beat these things, you know. So yeah, his dad gave him the idea, pretty much. But he found a way to do it. All he had to do was upload. He gave it a code, you know. <laughs> A cone. <laughs> you know, a code, you know. <laughs> he gave it that. <laughs> <laughs> he gave it the alcohol. Yeah, that's the flu right there. <laughs> yeah, he gave he gave it he gave it a virus though. A computer virus, you know. You know, uploaded that. Yeah, he gave it so much malware and Trojan horse, you no, know, he fucked the uh, aliens up. He fucked up their system so bad, you know. Too bad they can't go to a place where they can get it all fixed up. <laughs> yeah, so you know, he gave he figured out a way to uh, beat these things. You know, he gave it a computer virus. You know, all he had to do was upload that some bitch into their mothership's main mainframe, and you know, the effects of mothership. And you're gonna correspond all to all the uh, other ships down below, all around the world. So when uh, everybody was starting to uh, get the plan together, you know, they found out how to uh, contact the rest of the world through Morse code. You know, you know, tap 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 tap. You know, that type of Morse code, you know, SOS, Morse code. You know, that type of thing, you know, I don't know, I don't know how it works, you know, I don't know, I don't know what the hell I, I just uh, tapped out, you know, you'll probably, probably put the gibberish anyway, yeah, Morse code, you know. <laughs> So yeah, everybody um everybody was communicating through um the old fashioned way. But that was the best way to do it because you know the aliens, you know, they got their technology a little more advanced than ours, so you know, the uh when the, they hear a bunch of taps, you know, that's something that they did did not expect, so you know. Ah, so yeah. And so a cyber attack was being planned. All we had to do was upload that virus real quick and you can take them all down. Yeah, they'll be dropping like flies. <laughs> so yeah, with the president, you know, Bill Pullman, you know, the way Bill Pullman, you know, he reminded me of Bill Clinton. You know, at that time, you know, Bill Clinton was president. You know, he was going through his second term too. So yeah. Yeah, but at that time, yeah, he reminded me of Bill Clinton, you know, for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, I'll tell you, um, yeah, the president, yeah, he, uh, 
he was the one to lead them in the uh, in the payback attack. So yeah, because you know he used to be a combat a combat enforcer in disguise. You no, know? yeah, he was an Air Force pilot. So you know. He know a thing or two about fighting in the air also. So, yeah, before before he got into politics, he was a soldier. So, yeah, here we go. Let's see what the president can do. So, yeah. He took out one of them, you know? See? <laughs> but the real hero in this movie, though, the real hero, you know, Randy Quaid's character, you know, Russell Case, you know, he, uh, you know, he, uh, he, you know, he claimed that he was, uh, kidnapped by aliens years ago, so he was down for some payback ever since, you know, 10 years of it. So when he found out that, um, they needed some pilots because all of theirs were pretty much wiped out, yeah, he, yeah, he found out, he found out that he, he that, that uh, they needed some pilots, you know, they were desperate to find anybody that could have, that had any type of flying, flying experience, you know, whether it was military or airline, you know, <laughs> you know, they were, they were desperate to look for anybody, so, you know, Russell Case, you know, he, he heard that they were looking for some pilots, so he stepped up, you know, he had a sober first, but yeah, he stepped up, and he, uh, he got back into, into the, uh, the dog fight, so, you know, So, you know, yeah, he was the real, he was, he, he was the, uh, the real, the real, real, uh, hero throughout the, um, the, at the end of the movie. So, yeah, when everybody out there, when, um, uh, the Eagles, you know, went from Black Knights to the Eagles, when the Eagles were, um, they're up there, they're, uh, they're fighting, some of them was dying, but yeah. They were getting some payback, all right. But everybody, you know, they all had the missiles, you know. But not Russell Case. He had one ready, one arm, one packing. Yeah, so, you know, he was coming in, boy. He was coming in to the, the hero music, man. Yeah, that Oscar winning hero music, you know. <laughs> yeah, he was coming into that. So, yeah. You know, he had his uh, he had his sight dead on the uh, the primary weapon. So when he went to fire, it couldn't uh, the missile couldn't go. Damn thing was jammed in there, malfunctioned. Yeah, so he did the ultimate hero sacrifice. Yeah, do me a favor, tell my children I love them very much. <laughs> All right, you alien assholes. In the words of my generation, up yours! Yeah, so yeah, he flew that. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, he gave them a, uh, he gave them the big fuck you, you know. He flew that. <laughs> he flew that shit. He flew that, he flew that plane right up the ass, you know. And gave me, yeah, that primary weapon. It was get ready to fire that big, uh, that big ass cannon. That big ass, that big ass green cannon. Yeah, they was charging it up, you know. They had the beam going, the targeting beam out. They was charging it up. And Russell, yeah, he was flying his plane up there, you know. Hello, boys! I'm back! Yeah. Yeah, so yeah he, gave that, he gave them the big fuck you right up the ass. And boom. It was done. It was done. Jack took them all out. The entire ship blown off straight to hell. Yeah. But you know, the danger wasn't over yet, you know. Steve and uh Steve and um Um David they were in one of the uh alien, alien attackers, you know. But you know an attacker that was stored in uh, area area 51 for a whole bunch of years, you know. Yeah, we all know the uh, the um, the story about 
Roswell, New Mexico, right? You know, the alien ship crash landed there in the 1950s. Now, this may be true. It may not be, you know. It's a huge conspiracy theory throughout the years, you know. Did an alien ship crash there or not, you know. You see it in tabloids, you know. You hear it from crazies on the news, you know. Whether they're telling the truth or not, you know. Is there an Area 51? Isn't there an Area 51? Apparently, yes, there's an Area 51 out there, but, you know, yes, it is in Roswell, New, New Mexico, you know. But, you know, nobody has uh, ever really seen it, you know. You can see it from a distance, you know, it looks like a, a grocery store parking lot, you know. If you see it through uh, um, night vision, Night vision um, goggles and uh, night vision uh, binoculars and uh, yeah, you can see it. But you know, it's not my place to actually say that it's really out there or not. Hell, like I said, you know, a whole lot of conspiracy theories out there that says that you know it's there or not. But yeah, in this movie, yeah, they're gonna say that it, it does exist. It's out there. You know, that's what we conjured up the plan on how to upload the virus. And you know, it was in Area 51, you know. When, when I say we, I mean the humans, you know. <laughs> yeah, we were in Area 51, so, you know, we got the attacker that was stored there all these years. So, yeah, you know, when when uh, David and um, Stephen, when, the, when the, they were in the, uh, the ship, you know, they had to fly their center out there so they could upload the virus, you know. And while they were out there, you know, <laughs> they were stuck in there, so, you know, they had to, uh, yeah, Stephen, he had to uh, shake them loose, you know. And not only they were up there, but, you know, they had a nuclear missile, you know, stored in their, in their arsenal, so, you know. So you know, when uh when the ship down the uh down the earth was destroyed, you know. Yeah, they launched that nuke into the mother into the mothership. Yeah, that shook them loose. Yeah, so they had like thirty seconds to get out of there, so you know they yeah, so you know, they got in, you know, got in the cockpits and then uh, even he started to uh fly that some bitch out. But then, you no, know, those things, you no, know, they had their attackers, you no, know, they was chasing them. Now we got a huge, now we got a huge chase scene in space. So you know, you know, he was, uh, he was doing his maneuvering again. But you know, this is a little bit different this time because you're in a fucking spaceship. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're on their home field now, suck up. So yeah, yeah. You had to, uh, you had to really get out of there. Yeah, he ain't over to the fat lady sing. And yeah, he ain't heard no fat lady. So yeah, he got in that cockpit and he was moving the ass, boy. He was on the ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or the chest is, oh, really, you think? <laughs> yeah, so you know, he was really, he was on the move, Jack. But yeah. He found a way, yeah, so you know. They're closing the door on him. Yeah, you know, he sped up fast as he could. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Flew right through before the doors closed on him. Yeah. Yeah, they're going back home. So, yeah. It was awesome, though. The whole movie, the whole movie is just 100% awesome, you know. Still, to this day, this movie, you know. This movie, you know, this movie right here, you know, Independence Day. Still to this day, it's still one of the most awesome sci-fi movies ever made. And yeah, it's a fun ride, Jack. Something that you will never forget, especially if you lived in 1996, you know. You know, you saw this movie, you know, I saw this movie in theaters, you know. And I was fortunate enough, you know. Summer of 90, summer of 96, Jack. I was one of the uh, the fortunate enough ones. One of the fortunate enough ones. <laughs> yeah, summer '96. Yeah, me, my mom, brother, my grandma. Yeah, we all went to the uh, movie theater. We saw this movie. Yeah, 
We all had a good time watching it. So yeah, you know, this yeah, you know, it's a fun ride. You should never forget it. You know, if you're familiar with it, then cool. This movie that you should never pass up. So yeah, you no know, Independence Day. You know, it's a straight five out of five. You know, just one hundred percent awesome. A real huge thrill ride. And like I said, this movie it made stars. It made stars. I mean, you know, the director of the movie, Roland Emmerich, you know, he went on to do a whole bunch of other disaster movies, but, you know, beforehand, you know, he only, well, you know, I, I don't know how many movies he did before this, you know, one I told you already was um, Universal Soldier, but, you know, yeah, Universal Soldier, and then he did Stargate, you know, the movie Stargate, not the TV show Stargate, Stargate, Stargate SG-1, you know, I ain't talking about that, I'm talking about the movie Stargate, you know, Kurt Russell and James Spader, yeah, he did that, we did Stargate, and I guess this was his third movie, I guess, I don't know, but yeah, yeah, he did this movie, and then he went on to do a whole bunch of disaster films, you know, Godzilla, and then, you know, uh, a whole bunch of others. You know. Day after tomorrow, in uh, 2012, you know, a whole bunch of others, a whole bunch of others. But yeah, you know, this movie right here, this movie, it, it pretty much did make his career. He made everybody's career. You know, it revitalized a lot of people's careers. You know, I mean, you know, Jeff Goldblum beforehand, you know, well. He did not revitalize his career. You know, he did Jurassic Park. <laughs> he was in two Jurassic Park movies before he did this. So, yeah. <laughs> he was doing just fine. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't forget about Dr. Malcolm. So, yeah, he was doing just fine. <laughs> so, yeah, this is just another notch in his belt. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the awesome Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, you know, another cat who was... Um, you know, a cat who is um often imitated but never duplicated, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know, Vivica Fox, you no, know, Vivica A. Fox, you no. Know? Yeah, she uh this movie made her star, you know. The breakout star. So yeah, you know, with her playing Will Smith's girlfriend. Which is pretty funny because she did an episode of Fresh Prince years prior to this movie, you know, where she played Jazz's sister, and they were, and she and Will was on the, um, they was on that one date, and she was the bossiest woman in the world, you know, she scared the shit out of Will. <laughs> yeah, look me in my eye when I'm talking to you. <laughs> yeah, we'll look at the camera. <laughs> well, who are you looking at? <laughs> oh man, that was, a, <laughs> that was a crazy episode. That was funny. Yeah, funny show though, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I tell you though, yeah, 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 wasn't yeah Independence Day when the first time those two were together, you know, that episode of Fresh Prince, you know. But yeah, I tell you though, yeah, this movie though, it's just one of those one of those movies that you know. Well written, well written, well acted, you know, all that. Well done, completely, you know, perfect five out of five. So, yeah, that's my review. That's my long ass review because this is a long ass movie. But, yeah, I'm sticking to it, though. Now, well, next week I'm doing uh, another movie review, but. I'm not gonna tell you about next week because this week is not even over yet. You know, this is just the an impromptu movie review. This 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 is a special Fourth of July special. On Saturday though, that's when the real movie review come in. You know, episode one one twelve Saturday. That's the regular scheduled one, and that's the one I'm doing about. 
one of the best superhero films, animated superhero films ever. One of the best animated superhero films ever. Yeah, I'm going into animation. First time, it won't be the only time. So yeah, you stick around. Keep it locked right here for that. Click on my other shit right here. Subscribe to me right here. Click on that bell too. And in the meantime, in between time, Jack, I'm going to do some research on this next movie that I got on Saturday because this show right here is off. Happy 4th of July.